Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy, and today we are going to be doing a VOD review from the recent TwitchCon Twitch Rivals on the winners of the last final game of the Grand Finals, Tina, Rux, and Pika. Now, Rux and Pika, phenomenal players from the West Coast. Rux actually kind of representing for the older boys, and Tina, the professional player from Gen G, uh, professional female player, woman player from Gen G. We're gonna be going ahead and taking a look how they play this final game. Uh, I might kind of cut the audio in and out because it is a little reverby because they're, you know, they're in the arena. But we will see. I really just want to go through this video. It's gonna be kind of like a light VOD review, just kind of like a, a watching as well. I'm not gonna maybe be as instructional as I, I might normally be, but I ultimately just want to break it down. Now they had the stream perspectives from every single player going, and while I watched the mainstream because I really just kind of wanted to watch the event from like a spectator point of view. You. I do want to go ahead and jump on board with Tina. She got the MVP award. She was doing very well in some of the games when they were like watching over her and casting over her. And uh, she's kind of like a like an acquaintance and friend of mine in, in a way. So I'm excited that she was able to uh, win a championship at TwitchCon with Rux and Pika. Rux, another person that I, I kind of look up to because I, think, I believe he's like 24 and he's just really, really good. And Pika, I don't know a whole lot about other than the fact that he's just insane. All right, so we're in the battle bus, 90 players queued up. And it looks like they're already marking their spot and I believe they're going retail if I remember correctly. So it looks like they're gonna be going retail, most likely contesting another team. So they're gonna have to be fighting a team off spawn. And I think, Tifu will be in the area. I believe they fought a couple times somewhere in this tournament or once or twice. So see Tina flying in. Pika got a lower drop than her, and she's got that one guy lower than them. One person slightly lower. Go ahead and turn that down a little bit. I don't know if y'all will be able to hear that, but regardless, we'll continue to watch. So at 21 points, I don't exactly know where they were sitting in the standings here. But I do know they go ahead and finish up the game. Well, one of the obelisks was already just dead. I think she she said the same because the other person said the same thing. So interesting. That might have been a bug or something, but they literally just get like a stacked amount of loot for free right off the start. She's going to start at Big Broken. And I actually think I remember watching some of her perspective where she would land here as well. So I'm just kind of trying to look at their split. They've kind of taken over residential. You see Doghouse um, with that corner house and before Blacktops. And then Tina sitting over oh, here at um, the big broken. So she's got some good shields and she's got a heavy snipe, but got to find some kind of a shotgun or SMG, something close range that she can fight with. Oh, now. there's a blue pump. There it is. Jesus, mouse five, yeah. mouse four for weapon swapping. That's interesting. What are her builds? Q, F2, E. I wonder what if that F2 and F4 are actually F2 and F4. Let's so just go ahead and continue to farm up. Like I said, most likely they have a contested team. So really early on, you're going to see them just kind of like rushing the looting. That's definitely something you want to consider if you're landing you, somewhere that's contested. Uh, okay. If you don't have to fight right off drop, I mean, literally like 50 50 for a gun, you definitely want to get some materials. You have to have a material advantage. Doing well on mats. Doing very well on match. Got a launch pad, has a really good loadout for early game fighting. I'd say she's in a, a great position, even with the splashes. Um, you know, she can help Rux get his his shields up. So just continuing to farm. She's gonna take the stinker. Somebody marked that for her. Unfortunately, we can't I can't hear the comms with the other players. It doesn't like this doesn't carry the audio that way. I think they're on like they're on a local um like voice channel through like the hardware so don't believe it's coming through like her desktop audio device so we won't be able to hear that sitting on top of noms too. you can see them setting up and she does have the heavy snipe Ooh, that looked like a promising yeah, shot good. again she's got like 600 700 mats so she's already kind of chilling and she's just maxing up the wood and this ak could be very good because she has no long range other than the heavy oh, not a very good shotgun swap okay, you can see look they're just so patient i mean with money on the line the other team hasn't forced a fight on them they haven't forced a fight on them either so she's able to just really farm up and take her time again rock's still not with the most shields but he's just been hanging out over at the uh like the back two houses and retail side here's some nades going off <laughs> Oh, 
That's interesting. Someone was playing with anonymous mode on. You'd think that just like wouldn't be allowed or something. That's weird. Now Rox makes his way over. Pico's just farming zombies inside a shield dome, and that's actually pretty smart. You can get your shields up. This whole house is gone. Pico's looking to get what a silent scar. Yes, that's much much better. And I wonder, I mean, because I'm not for sure that they're contested. I just assumed they would be. If they have retail uncontested, they're kind of chilling. But like, I mean, I mean, like I said, I know there's a team over there, but like if they don't fight here early, I would be very surprised. I mean, maybe both teams just gentlemen's agreement. Yeah. Being able to farm in this dome is super nice. I was I don't really care for retail this part of the of the early game like farming things makes yeah, me nervous Oh, she drops the right silence 50 pot for someone Is to carry no? Trying to min max the uh trying to min max the uh The shield so definitely some good communication there to to be able to say hey look, you know I want to drop this so that way we can Stack up our shields. Obviously, this is pretty basic early game stuff. Uh, I'm gonna assume that the other team either disengaged or they've just both kind of gotten a mindset where they just want to get their sides of retail because they 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 haven't even really been watching for them. I haven't seen Tina look at them in quite some here? time. Yeah, see, she she's even asking like, are they still here? So, yeah, I just keep it right. I'm just gonna assume that most likely both teams are just gonna walk away from the situation, which is totally fine. Totally fine. I mean, either team could try to force for storm surge for tags, um, you know, just to get the extra points to try to full control retail. You can see you're starting to peak a little bit, but as far as early game goes, they have had a pretty easy one this game, mostly uncontested. I'm not even sure if they've been shot at at all. Tina took one shot with a sniper, so kind of chilling. This is like her version of looking. She wants to scout. I wonder what their play is because I feel like they're mostly ready to leave here unless they stay and farm anymore. Yeah. They do have some high ground built up. Yeah, I think that's probably the call. Let's, oh, hit by a zombie. Oh, okay. So Pika's getting pushed. Oh, Rux. Rux is very low. Okay, so we got to see how they get out of this situation. Pika flies in, and that's a Booga. Pika takes out Elevate. I'm thinking I'm. Pika full of limbs elevate and Rux is just down at the moment. Tina just trying to build herself up and you hear a shockwave. She's starting to box up. She's going to get some space. So Rux is down. Rux is down. Elevate's down. They're going to him back up and regroup. So that's unfortunate. Rux got kind of jumped. We'll see how they fight this. They got zombies beating at them. This is a crappy position to be in, so definitely interested in this. They've got zombies beating at them. There might be another team in retail, and they have those guys on like their uh, southwest end. So she used a lot of wood, She's trying to rebuild up her like rebuild up her uh, materials. So only 30 seconds on Rux. I don't really know how their game goes, so I don't remember if he's just down this game. I don't think he is, but I just didn't think he was. Now, it looked like Pika grappled over, so Pika's trying to get the card. Yeah, okay, so Pika gets the card. You know, makes the call new zone is out. It's going to shift him west. I wonder if retail is free enough for them to get the reboot. These are all things that I would be asking myself in this situation. So you definitely have to kind of like put yourselves in the uh, in the mind of the player if you're trying to analyze their gameplay a little bit. So uh, Pika flying over, like Pika using his grapple, he's trying to maximize the time that he has. And it looks like he, at least he feels retail is safe enough to just go ahead and, and get Rux back up. And if, you know, if you wanted to reboot someone no and you want to try to bring them back in the game, retail is a great way to do it. So he can get full shields here. Do you he want can the get. 
uh, you know, his his guns back most likely or at least some guns back. So Rux is back. Wow. Okay, okay. He, I gotta be honest, man. This is a, yeah, a pretty a pretty decent situation to be in where they got pushed by Booga's team and Elevate goes down and Rux goes down, but they're able to just get Rux back up immediately. Now, the question here is like how much time and what kind of a situation, because if you're put in this situation here, you have to think about it. How much time and what kind of a situation do you get into leaving retail late because they're still in retail and uh, you know trying to enter the, the safe zone because that, that uh, really is gonna be the, the next thing. How do they... How do they transition this kind of like slightly shambles game into a good game? Um, because it, it has to be a good one. Have, They're looking to the place. You can see him trying to get Rux back into like a, a decent position. And even her mats are kind of, you know, not great. They're not the best. And Rux can just get his, uh, his shield back up for free. But again, this is all comes at the cost of leaving, leaving late. Did she see some building to her east? I feel like I saw someone building like a a, a large one by one. That's why she should just take that SMG. Yep. So not <laughs> no ammo. I mean, again, this this to me this is a shambles game for sure. Um, it's on their back. There might be team rotating into retail behind them, and. I can't exactly tell you how far they have to go, but it's not, you know, immediately in front of them at factories, that's for sure. So, they're just trying to get some farm, whatever they can get. Can't swap through and look at the loadouts, but her loadout's pretty good. Just minus the material, or the, like the mats and the ammo, really. Yep, like I said, team rotating in the back. This is gonna be a committed fight, it looks like. Oh, Pika gets sniped. So this is a tough game. This is a really tough game for them. Pika just gonna go ahead and grapple away. He doesn't really have a choice. You can already see Tina using half her wood just to space back to the team. Now Pika, able to get out. She, they might have to launch here. I, I don't know. I don't know how to get out of this fight without just full sending the fight. She doesn't have a grappler. <laughs> so they've either decided to leave her to I die or they're trying to rotate together and they're just hoping this team will let them. I mean, luckily it's not as far. Like I said, it's not right here at the factories, but it was just this past that. So maybe these teams will just rotate in and take the smart play instead of griefing each other's games. I have a one, two, three. Here, calling out the match, trying to keep the communication high. A little bit of ramp boosting. You have someone flying in close, so they're definitely looking for that. She's just trying to keep her health high. She wants to stay ahead of the zone. So they're in. It's just further west again, but now, again, how do we transition out of this section? Do they look for a fight? Do they just continue to rotate? Storm Surge is activated. They've had some... They got a kill. Who'd they kill? Aglor? Okay, so Aglor goes down. Uh, he must have been a solo, like the last remaining solo, and, and she's looking to push into here. Getting some stink tags Did onto that campfire. She took some damage and uh, you can see Rux is actually still in the storm. I think he might have like flung himself in there. Lots of people are dying right now. A lot, a lot of people are dying. And this is like these edge fights that uh, they turn yeah. dangerous, man. But if you can get them, you can steal everything they have. Um, I think, I guess Rux got a kill or he did something to get his health back up. Low materials, they have what two kills, Elevate and Agalor, I think. I'm assuming the kill counter is just bugged. Um, relatively far, Rux gets sniped. So, this is man, I, I, I almost like can't see this oh, turning out well for them. Like, they should get wiped at every single one of these fights, and they just don't. Okay, so Cypher pushes up to her wall, and she gets a nice shot on him. Cypher goes down, Nick Merckx is spectating, so Pika takes gets the kill on yeah, Nate yeah. Hill, and I'm assuming Nick Merckx was just dead this game. There's a mini right here. Okay, so, uh, and again, time to go. So let's see how they constantly keep moving. I mean, they're getting kills for free, right, so that's kind of great. I mean, not to say that it doesn't come at a cost. And now Tina gets sniped. Oh my goodness gracious. 
this game is like this is actually insane y'all have to go they have to launch okay this is a shambles game how do they do this how i'm so, like okay at this campfire? point i i literally don't i don't know how they do this i don't know where they they're still not even in you know that's after using a launch pad her materials are bad her ammo situation's gotten way better but now every single one of them have been sniped and i think you know, rux i think one of them has been sniped twice i don't i don't know here tina calling out i have no mez she's using the last like little bit of shields they have they went on ahead and split her a shockwave because okay, you, you might do, as well you do, you do okay they're gonna go ahead and team shockwave they're gonna cut the half bridge or oh they're just gonna do it on a ramp okay you can see you're looking at pika just to try to get in oh kind of a crappy situation they're instantly into a fight you can see her just trying to box up next to whatever's here and who do they kill you can kill sifu all right oh this was when tifu i think this was when tifu killed chibi i think i remember seeing this tifu killed chibi and uh he wanted to push the loot and then he got he got cut off like he got caught okay so what kind of a situation are they in she got some metal I'm assuming they got oh, some mats one of them got some health off no, siphon and they're chilling one of them got a slurp which should presumably go over to pika unless they just decide to splash or both so that kill might have helped a little bit because it's not just the, the loot from tifu it was going to be some additional loot so i think they're at like four or five six kills right now in total something like that and look i can't believe it I, I literally can't believe it look at their health like it's not bad tina finds 300 more wood so now her, her mats are pretty decent she has no meds though it's still a tough game you can see they're not quite in and with you know 55 other players it's still quite a trek one lands really close to them yeah that's nice find a free grappler what does she drop the no, uh the bless mg no she's gonna go ahead and drop snipe that's fine all right so they're using a launch pad that actually turned into a short pad i don't think that was intentional they are they gonna fight this nope okay so they all have grapplers which is not bad okay so she gets yeah, tagged good. up a bit i don't oh, know God. oh how did that happen i don't think i don't know if she has any shields other than splashes they may splash her all good I'm gonna drop you guys this launch pad. They're so above though. Like, yeah, yeah. That's a good call. Good call to give the launch pad away. They're above threshold because they've just had some kills. Like they've consistently gone into fights and and won them. Still a huge lobby though. She wants to replace that wall. Now they're just kinda hanging out. I think this is the part where you just stay pretty calm. Like you can look for people if you have a good you know, like sight line. Oh, they're double sniping it sounds like they uh, did they get anybody oh they have an rpg as well okay so i didn't didn't hear anything of the double sniping see she's trying to help out they're just putting the pressure down the lobby might focus this oh yeah so i cracked them i cracked them i cracked them you cracked one so really just trying to put a lot of attention down on the lobby there like if you can get the lobby to focus it can it, it'll turn into kills for sure but you know you might be able to convert She's throwing some sinkers, nice. She's getting some ticks. Nice, that's insane. How does this happen? That's gonna be a free 50 shield if they can get the finish. There it is. TDAP goes down. So she just got herself a free 50 pot, which she needed. What else can y'all find? Tina kind of popping off this game. I mean, she had been she had been popping off like a good a, bit, a fair amount. Oh my god, they got the half and half. This is such a serendipitous game. Like, I'm actually so excited that I decided to watch this. Oh, and then Rux got a snipe on Sean. So that's just another kill. They, they're they just slaying out this game. This is like the uh, constant, like, if they just continue to slay out, they're going to continue to get what they need type of situation. Rux, Pika are both at full health. Every single one of these players has been sniped this game. Think about that. And now they're just spamming. They're in I zone, and now they might start looking. Northwest She's going to toss over the rockets. Again, just trying to, like, Pretty make a note of people. everything. At this point, she, they just want to focus. I'm, I'm not just like trying to cast this, but I, I just want to make note of everything they're doing. I'm trying to put it down a lot of focus. They get cut out or shot out, rebuild themselves back up, and now there's a lot of people around them. So at this point, you just want to start try to stay close together 
that's most likely going to be their focus like well, let's work together stay really close to each other um so if someone falls into a build if someone jumps in a box y'all can work together so they're all within like one build box like one, one you know one by one away from each other more or less pika and rux getting a little bit wide to try to look for some shots pika might be like box fighting over there at this point everything's just a little bit conservative you know with 40 41 other players they're kind of just looking around she wants to make sure nobody's coming up the hill no free shots and it's a pretty open situation to be in so you might want to be careful here all right they got they got moving zone on their back um i think they have one more launch pad at least and all of them have grapplers they most likely just decide to tunnel this in a little bit i think it probably would you maybe be a little too uh too early for oh my goodness she just got 500 light rounds that's crazy good for spam maybe a little too early for um for a height take Ooh, she, she saw the solo moving early they might be able to focus this yeah the smg rounds too don't forget you might want to save those ar bullets yes and now you see a lot of people moving and they had the position to just hold and take, take shots oh that oh my goodness gracious won't be able to get that nick a30 goes down to pika so peter like gets knocked and finished all right they gotta move okay who just went down oh i thought i heard like the down noise okay it was rux it's a little delayed so rux is down gonna be pika and tina no reshield she's sitting in about a hundred 107 health so like one hit oh my goodness she's absolutely low 35 people alive this is going up a hill so a lot of people might die here and she's not grouped up with pika she's looking for a kill oh okay keeps herself in it for a little bit longer just trying to box up i don't know if they'll be able to regroup that's gonna be that would be my biggest concern at this point but at 44 health she may just need to psycho someone or find someone mid rotation someone on her back okay so she's down um this actually might be game three i think this is game number three so i'm wrong about that one i might i might have gone back too far in the vod i think maybe not it's either game three or game four so pika last one left alive 125 hp he's got two grapplers left you saw he hits the tree oh it's so crazy to be floating this long but he can box himself and he's got great materials if he can find a kill he's definitely in this game right now like she said he's really really good on mats so just trying to keep himself rotating might see him swap over to his hard mass he got got literally landed on a bouncer so they just got placement points okay no this has to be this has to be the final game most likely yeah this is the final game finding himself just a little bit ahead of the zone looking for some shots nice. this is great this is a great position to be in look at that the way that it just lines up no he loses kill not gonna be able to get any of those mats or like the shields or anything didn't get the kill out of that wait he got a knock because he got a knock on a rich Romy quinn he puts himself back at that 120 gets a 200 pump this is huge this is just all pika at this point it's you know how the, the late game endorphins kick in and you just have to continue to push yourself she's calling the mats out for him the great team comes there and he's got everything he needs to get kills no mobility and the mats are starting to diminish although he does have a good amount with only seven other players left and so he's probably getting close to placement if he hasn't gotten it at all already getting spammed down he really just has to space like just keep yourself moving like look how tricky he is just constantly moving constantly and put a ramp on the back or something don't want you don't want them to know where you are so even just like so look he's just hiding it out keep pump okay he goes down so third place not bad so they got the top four placement that puts them that puts them in the winning position i mean that was literally everything they needed this game was just a constant like forced fight after forced fight but the difference is that they won every single one of them
So we'll go ahead and try to like finish this up. Okay, so in terms of it being a VOD review, because again, I know I'm just kind of like watching it and commentating over what I'm seeing and giving my thoughts, my like like consistent analytical thoughts throughout the process. The name of the game on this one was like handle the situation you're in. You know what I mean? Like if you find yourself in a bad situation, like work together, handle it. Uh, you, you know, it was uh, it was a little bit about positioning because they were constantly trying to keep themselves in a good position, and a little bit about the game giving them the positioning that they needed. But it was it was really just this this game was clutch factor. This game was 100% clutch factor. So uh, yeah, it, this game was crazy. If they wouldn't have had such a a good game and i'm talking about in terms of being able to clutch the fights being able to get rocks back up being able to th all three individually getting sniped without going down that's huge actually i think one of them did go down from getting sniped uh, being able to reset like get themselves into the zone reset find kills that equated to more loot more mats more shields uh find kills that got siphoned back up tina getting the free 50 pot and then consistently slay out while while playing battle royale and playing the zone is what won them the game so thanks for checking out this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? I'm going to be trying to do a VOD review and um, some casting or something maybe once a week uh, each. So we'll see. But thanks for checking it out again. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video.